moist yet. <laughs> I know a lot of people have a problem with the word moist. I apologize, but that's just really the best way to describe when something's not dry, unless you can think of something else. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep saying moist, 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 moist. <laughs> okay, brown sugar. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking Sherry. I'm back in the kitchen today and I'm gonna do something very exciting, as usual, but this time it's like really exciting. We're making a great dessert today and the secret ingredient is chickpeas. Ta-da, chickpeas, yeah, go chickpeas, we love it. Story behind these chickpeas. Why did I decide to make a dessert using chickpeas today? Well. I had a can in the kitchen, didn't know what to do with them, and it just hit me. Okay, people can bake with zucchini, black beans, avocado. I've seen desserts with all types of vegetables. Why not use chickpeas? So I did a little research on chickpeas, and as some of you may know, another name for chickpeas is garbanzo beans, which is kind of weird because it's like, are they, what is it? What are people? Anyway, but another name for these besides garbanzo beans uh, are the Egyptian pea. And I got so excited about that because I'm from Egypt originally and I had no idea that this was the national bean of, the, of Egypt. So I feel so proud to have actually such a connection with this bean pea legume. I'm just representing my country in the best way that I know how, making chickpea blondies. So the recipe that I put together is gonna be hopefully a dessert that is delicious without compromising flavor. And it also happens to be vegan and gluten-free. I think we can make this work. And if we do make it work, this will be a miracle dessert. And I'm, I think I'm gonna start a whole trend. Because chickpeas, I feel like people are sleeping on them. Nobody ever buys the dessert hummus at the grocery store. It's always the last thing left when hummus is on sale. Nobody wants to try it. And it's not because it's bad. It's because people are scared to try it, but it's going to change your life. I have a lot of faith in chickpeas. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients. Uh, we have, of course, our chickpeas, brown sugar, vanilla, vegan chocolate chips, tahini, peanut butter, gluten-free flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, flaxseed eggs, and chopped pecans. That's it. So the first thing we're gonna do is get started with our chickpeas. I had a 15 ounce can of chickpeas, which I drained the water out of that into a separate bowl and just rinse your chickpeas because just get rid of that salt content too. And you can actually use that water for a whole new dessert. It's actually really cool. You could do so much with it. It's called aquafaba, the, the brine that the chickpeas come in. So right here we got this, the rinsed chickpeas and I'm gonna put them in the blender. But the thing is like, if you have a food processor, this could be a really easy process. I only have this little blender, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just take care of the chickpeas first and then work on everything in this bowl. Otherwise, you could just do a lot of this in the food processor. And it's all good. And let's see. Okay, smoothing out our chickpeas. They're nice and creamy and smooth now and we'll move on with the rest of the ingredients to put together our blondies. So the next thing is, just wanna talk about these two ingredients that are coming up next. Instead of using all one nut butter, I decided to do half peanut butter and half the tahini, but you can use all peanut butter, all almond butter, just whatever you have will work fine. But I figured I like these flavors, so let's see how that works out. Okay, so I'm gonna take the peanut butter and the tahini. Okay. So, so far we're pretty healthy. Hold on. Yeah, on my lips. Let's start blending that. 
Okay, brown sugar. Now our flaxseed eggs. That will act as a binder. And some vanilla. Those sides. Scrape those sides down. And a little bit of Oh my god, I got my chin. Cool. Okay, so now on to our dry ingredients. We're just gonna take our gluten-free flour, gonna just add our salt to it, our baking powder. This is sticking. And our baking soda. Put that fork through it a little bit, combine those before you add it. So yeah, we're just gonna add this. Whoa, slow. Ooh. Okay, now we got a good texture going. Now we're gonna add, oh, I decided to not only add some chocolate chips, but a little pecan action for some crunch because I just thought some added texture and flavor would be more interesting than just plain old chocolate chips. So I'm gonna just fold those in. Start with the chocolate chips. Okay, and your pecans, pull those in. But it really looks like it's coming together pretty nicely. Now I'm gonna take our prepared pan. It's just an eight by eight, like brownie pan. And I lined it with parchment paper and sprayed with cooking spray. And we're just gonna put our, look at that pretty dough. Looks like cookie dough. So once we put the batter in our pan, we're gonna want to just spread it a little. Spatula. Alrighty then. Okay. Okay, so the oven is heated to 350 degrees and we're gonna pop this pan in there for about 30 minutes, rotating the pan halfway in between cooking time and we'll be, we'll be back, we'll be done and we'll cut these bars up and see what they taste like because they look really good. So I have a good feeling about this, guys. See ya and I'll see you. later, right now. Totally I'd be back. <laughs> um, took this out of the oven. After 30 minutes, I started smelling some goodness. Some good stuff I started smelling, I'll tell you. I knew it was done then. So I took it out of the oven. I'm really excited. By the way, guys, uh, why I overline my pans, especially when I'm making bars and just like a lot of stuff in these kind of pans is for this reason. You can just lift that bad boy right out of the pan. Easy peasy. Should I, can I lift this thing? I don't know. Yeah, I can lift it. Okie dokie. You can reuse that parchment paper. What are you talking about? Not made of money here. This looks gorgeous. Seriously, it looks so good. Feels nice. See the chocolate chips. See a little bit of the pecans. It looks like a big square chocolate chip cookie to me. And I have no problem with that. Let's cut this guy. What do we do? Three by three or something? Nice and soft, yeah. This is good, y'all. But, um, what should I do? This is like literally the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my own life. I'm taking, I want to be balanced. This is 
Oh. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, honey. A little nibble. Pre-bite. Get me ready for what's coming. Okay. Mmm. What? This texture is good. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Halfway in, I was like, did I make a terrible mistake? No. <laughs> I didn't, thank God, because, you know. Because, um, this isn't meant to be like a fail. Um video. I want to actually share these recipes with you. I can definitely keep using chickpeas for desserts and I'd like to experiment with more things and see what else they could do. Guess who's here? <laughs> that means... <laughs> Big's here. That means we're almost done. Right, Biggie? Yeah, I made chickpea blondies. Smell good, right? Oh, she likes peanut butter. That's why she's sniffing it up. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I had a really fun time doing this chickpea experiment here and this is a keeper recipe so I'm really excited to share it with you and see what you think about it especially if you're down to like try different ingredients in desserts besides the traditional ones remember to comment like subscribe hit the notifications bell to get updated when the next video comes up and yeah, it is just really fun to experiment in the kitchen. Try something that you're not comfortable with or you're not necessarily sure about how it's gonna turn out. Make sure you watch next week when I'll be constructing a whole cake made out of cauliflower and fava beans, lima bean brownies. Make sure you watch next week when I'll be making a pie using prunes and Brussels sprouts. It makes you regular. <laughs>